Yeah. Yeah. Continue. Review and create. Yes. Yeah. Create. Yeah, create it. Don't we're we're not going to assign any global permission to it now. Oh. Go back to the user. Well, that's fine. No, are you done with the user? Go back to yeah. user and search for it and let's give it uh, a read only. I just want to mention. So click on it. Go to assign row to your left. Keep coming down. Keep coming down. This one. Keep going. Yeah, you can see assign row. So I want us to assign a row to the user. Add read, yeah, add an assignment, correct, yeah, and type, add, add an assignment. Let's look for read only, uh, reader only, just type reader, so reader, there should be a permission for reader only, yeah, global reader. Global reader. So basically, this is because we're going to need it, so, so where, this is where you are, giving you're creating a user and you're giving them a global reader mm -hmm. so they can anyway you will see what what you can do so add just click add. on add yeah. okay but it's not showing no don't worry you've you you've added go go back to the user okay. go back to user and go and go back to your to, to the user you should be able to see that global reader it's not added refresh what no no yeah just be global reader yeah. yeah yeah i just want to go back to the uh, rules just make sure that the, the the role is added you know look at the edit properties what what role do you have there let yeah no it's fine yeah let's just look at the rule to make sure that the, the role is assigned assign, role. assign yeah. one okay that's fine uh refresh it just 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 refresh that okay so copy the user principal name Copy it. User principal name. Yeah, copy that. And go and open a private uh private browser. Do you know how to do that? No. Private browser. So go go to your plus no. browser. No, browser at the top okay. of your of your browser. You can see. Kind of open a new browser. Open a new browser. Just 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 press plus. Yeah, plus down, yeah. And go to the to the uh, to the dot to your top uh, top right that dot to your top right yeah this three one. dots yeah click on that click on that and do new inco incognito new inc yeah so that that's a private browser okay. click on that click on it guys any question please stop me go to Azure portal.com i'm sorry portal.azure.com portal.azure.com yeah that's it portal.azure.com paste that uh principal user id paste it do next and put the password that you use So it will, it will ask you to change your password. So provide the current password and change it. Again, try to remember the password. Oh, okay. So 
remember your, your, your password, the standard one, then change it to something else. Yeah. So change it to, to the new one. Trying to use. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. He's wanted to set up. Do you have a authenticator app? So he wanted to set up the uh, authenticator app. So that's the two FA. Uh, do we know what two FA is? Two factor authenticator. Yeah, pin and um, passwords. I think. Yes, yes. yes. So you wanted to set that one up. Um, uh, Esther, do you have your two FA setup as well? Are you following it? I have it before, but I just should move it. Yeah, I'm following it, but I'm not here yet. You're not here yet. I'm trying to reset the password. Oh, okay. All right, Saeed, everybody, any, any questions from anyone before we proceed? I'm trying to see how we set up our two I can download it. No, no, you, you, need, you need to have it on your phone. So we'll, I'll show us how to do it now. Mm -hmm. So, Saeed, are you up to speed here? Are you no, okay? I'm up to speed there, no, but I'm, I just opened the uh, portal.azure and uh, log in with my username and password. Okay, we'll wait for everybody to get here. We don't have that much time, please. So let's try so that we can, because I want us to, I want, I want us to set up log and an analytics what speaks today. Then we'll do the rest. Something that I want to send to you. Guys, for the people that are here, can you put your email address in the chats real quick? I need to send something that we're going to be ingesting in, in our log so to our space. Just put it in the chat. And for the for the people that, that are going to be watching this video later, please reach out to me. Then I'll send it to you as well. Guys, please put your email address in this chat. Let me put while we are waiting, let me quickly send that as well. We will give you the outlook on or the I don't know. Uh, no, no, you're not my, you're not my email address. So I'm sending something to you guys now. So your standard email address. So let me open this one. So I have. I think it's only Saeed that I send it. Guys, please drop your email address, please. Saeed, thank you. Please, Tosin, how did you get to this uh, interface, this default directory? Because I opened my portal and, uh, with the uh, incognito. Yeah. And it, it's to, I signed it with my email address and password. It took me to the normal Azure uh, interface. No, did you use your user? Uh, you see that uh, that uh, we created one um, username. Did you? Did that? That's what you are using. That's global reader. You know, we created a, a username. Uh, we 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 call it a global reader. We assigned a global reader to that user and that's that user is what we're using to to sign in now did yeah. you follow that steps yeah probably, let me go back there then sorry uh Said. i have to go back to the, the to the um so what did you miss? What I don't know what you missed. So what, what I missed was that I I opened a new incognito browser. I re yeah. in with my normal email address and no password. no that's that's not what we did. That means you 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 missed one of the steps so uh you have you created that that user yes i did okay did you assign the role to the user yes, I the yeah once we finish that then go to the property of that of that uh new user and copy user user principal id that's that's what you are copying user principal id then go and log on into a private uh, private um, browser and you ask for your you ask for your original password then ask it to reset it then you'll be able to log into where we are if you have if you have any you let me know so I'll quickly we'll wait for you for like two minutes 
I've downloaded the Microsoft Authenticator on my phone. Uh, put it on your phone, guys. Please download the Microsoft. If you are using uh, Win, uh, iPhone or Apple, whatever phone you are using, it doesn't matter. No. So we only have, I think, five people here. So let's see. Just to see something to this. Wait, did I make something? Okay. Guys, please let me know once we are we are on the same page, please. So I have one, two, three, four. I think I have four email addresses. Which one am I missing? I think I'm missing those. Yes. All right. So geo IP. Yes, I'm just waiting. Please, when we are there, let me know. Let us know. Let me know so that I can carry on. I'm, I'm using style to wait. Okay. Um. Please, my my um username was global reader Saidi at Saidi hot dot dot me dot and Microsoft dot com. Yep. So I tried to copy it and paste on the uh, uh, portal dot Azure. It's saying a wrong. Give me a wrong name. Okay, uh, Tosin, can you stop sharing? Let's side share. I'm sure he's doing something wrong. Let's quickly see before we. Let me share my screen, please. I'm coming. This is it. Okay, it's still coming through. The screen is coming through. Are you it? No, I can't see anything. Oh, is it just me? Those in, and uh, can you see side screen? I can't see. Just seeing. No, it's blank. Side, side has started sharing screen, but I can't see anything. Oh. Let me stop and reshare again then. Okay, Bill is and for this two years, right? So guys, I've, I've sent something to you guys. Please confirm if you get an email from me with with an attachment. So if yes, you an email from me. Yes, I got Geo, Geo IP. Yes, that's the one. Please, can you see my screen, please? I'm coming, I'm coming. Sorry. The screen is still not showing. It's just showing side of the point. I don't know what's happening to my app right now. Sure, just now. Okay, so I think I've sent it to so guys. If you get that thing, so we, we're gonna use it on, on Saturday. Just just download it somewhere in your laptop. So we'll use it on Saturday. Is it graduation? Are we still to... Okay, maybe after the graduation. No, it doesn't matter. We'll finish we'll finish our thing. Let's see the screen, please. Uh, so you don't have to do it by yourself. I can't see. I don't know how you got here. Can you show me? Okay, do next. Let's do do next year. No, no, this is not. Can I? Where did you copy this one from? From the uh, my uh, normal browser. Well, I can't see. So I need to see your your Azure portal. Azure so like, portal. 
Yeah, I need to see it. You can copy it. Right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because I don't know. I don't know where that is coming from. This one is good. Are you still sharing your screen? Yes, I'm coming, please. Please, can you see it now? Yes. So, where's the where's the user? The user is a name. This is it. Go go back to the user. This is go back to the user. Let's let me see the user that you're saying. What do we call your user? Global ID um global reader ID. This one. Uh, yeah, Glo global reader, yeah, James, whatever, global, yeah. Okay, click on it. Click on that user. Is it? Go to the let me see the okay, you assign a role to it. So yeah, this is what you need to copy. This one. This is me, right? Yeah, user principal name. I did just copy, copy it from there. Oh, okay. He's having out me. Why is he having out me? No, no, that's the thing. Uh, I don't know. At Said. It's. Do you have a subscription? Are you sure? That's how, that's how my own came out too. He added my other first. Um, yeah, but he added your own outlook, right? It should yeah. work. Yeah. Type your sub, type your subscription just on on the search bus. No, we we'll freak. We we'll, no no on the search bus. The, the big one, yeah, subscriptions. Let me make sure that you have subscription. So, yeah, click on it. Yeah, you do. Let's go back to the user. This is interesting. Go back to the user. Let's see. You enter eighty. My brother, I'm surprised to see this. So eighty euro. <laughs> eighty euro. Oh. One nine days. Go back to your uh resource. No, no, to your search box and go back to the user. User. Yeah, let's go back to that. No, no, go back. Yeah, click on that. Go back to that global reader. Okay, click on it. Copy the copy no, that. Think, don't copy for like that. No, no, no copy just like just keep, do yeah, yeah click yeah. yeah, click to keyboard. Yeah. Go go to uh, a cognito. So go to browser. It should work. Go go to a browser and go and open private browser. If you are doing it, I can't see it though. Just so you know. Oh, sorry. Let me show. Let me. Okay, I need to see. Can you see, please? This is it. No, no, no. Don't do it from go to, I want to see how you open the, your browser. I want to close this one. Just close this. Don't worry about it. I want to see another one that you do. So Autodesk.com. No, no. The, are you are you opening a private window? Because that's because yes. this is incognito, yes. This is okay, private. all right, that's fine. Yeah, support that you just come, okay. Okay, paste it. Just the control V. Yeah. You do next. But I thought so it's not working. You gave me an error message when I did it the first time. Yeah, because because you were you could probably copy a line or something. That's why you just do copy to clipboard. It's, it's easier. You don't have to manually co copy it. Because when you copy manually, you probably have copied the extra line that you don't even know. Do you understand, Said? Yes, yes. That's why. So. so now I have to create a new password for myself, right? Yeah, well, try to remember it.
Could I click next, please? Yes. Yes, thank you. Okay, so yeah, you you will just set up the uh, so go to your Apple Store. I don't know whatever phone you use, and find Microsoft Authentication app. So, soft. Yeah. Authentication app. And just follow the instructions. So, so I, uh, Tosin, let's go back. Let's go back so that we everybody can follow the instruction and tell them what you are doing. It's very straightforward to set up to FA. So this is very another learning platform for us. Or we can use side as well. It doesn't matter. Or Tosin, wherever. So Tosin, did you download it on your phone? Think, Was it Tosin yeah. or side? Yes. Okay. I Which. Who is sharing the screen? Is this touching your side? I don't even know. No, I'm, I'm yes, okay, that's fine. So if you download it on your phone, just do next. Yeah. Do next. Yeah, do next. So you will actually do next. So, no, sorry, go back. Do back. Uh, do I need to? Is well, that well, on my phone add accounts or something like that? Yeah, yeah. So wait, once you, once on your phone, install. Microsoft Authenticator. Okay, then after you install that button, open your device, choose Nest. Okay, so open your device, then choose Nest. So open the Authenticator on your on your phone and do Nest. Okay. It's just a, it's a, just a matter of following the instruction now. So if prompted, allow notification. Has it prom prompted you? No, not yet. But did you open it? Yeah, it's open on my phone. So it says, Microsoft, set up your account. If prompted, allow notifications, then add an account and select work or school. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's please it's showing me now to add an account. Yeah, add an account. So uh, which account? That that longer account. I have to go to Azure. No, no, you don't have to. So what what option does it give you? When you add what account. kind of account are you adding? Personal account, work or school account, then other do, account. Do uh, personal. Just, it doesn't matter. Just choose work or school. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. To be honest, it doesn't matter. Or you, or you can do personal. It doesn't really matter. This thing doesn't really matter. You can you can choose personal because it's your personal phone. So choose choose personal. personal. Yeah, it, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, they say add personal account. Sign in with in the Microsoft. With Microsoft, like scan or a QR code. Yeah, do next. Yes, do next. Uh, go back. Go back. Yeah. So just follow. I don't. I can't see what it's telling you to do. Well, basically, just follow this. It's very simple. Set up your account. No, no. You, you you've done this part. Yeah. You you you've added your personal account. So on your phone, click on click on the next. Yeah, it's adding account now. Okay. Now it's telling me to put sign in the username. Yeah, so it's asking for your Azure account, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Sign in with username. Yeah. Yeah. So just follow the the process. Uh, it's, it's I, mean, not... I have to use this. You are using your uh, Azure account, the one you used to, you the one you used to open your Azure. That's all you. That's the one you use. Okay. Your, your, uh, your main oh, account. Okay. The... Not this global reader. Okay. Not this global reader. Oh. No. Okay. Your okay. main your maintenance. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's my outlook then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whatever I can use. Because you do this a lot at work, so it's better that you are understanding how to do it now. I can't unfortunately I can't do it for you. You have to because it's your phone, you have to just follow the process. Yeah. Uh, Esther, is it is yours up and running now? Your MFA? Yeah, it's running, but I use my global reader account to log in, so I'll just probably change it. To... Yeah, the the problem with that is that you, if you're not logging in through your through your normal account, you won't be able to 
you will not be prompted, do you understand? Because your global reader, why we do it, we did that, we just show us permissions yeah. that what we can do with permission. So okay. as 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 you probably know, what we can do with, with, with permission. So okay. that's the that's the idea for that. But you usually use your main account, which all your services are going to be running from so, but okay. it's okay i mean it's the same process anyway so oh, i'm not saying send a verification code i'm trying to get it they will send yeah. it to your email so uh are they are you following as well it's all good on your side and uh well uh, side all good yes, right yes yes so okay. i was able to um, run the app on Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, good, good, yeah. So that's that's two FA. That's usually you, we do that a lot as well. So you you can if a user's account is compromised, you can reset the two FA as well. You know the MFA. You know, reset your password, reset the MFA, and let them go through the process again so that it can be fresh and new. Say the. I'm not saying the this. Thing. You're not are you sure are you sure that you're checking it in your email? Verify your email address. Oh sorry. I think I'm the one I was waiting for a code. I didn't know oh, he wanted me to type the my email. Oh got <laughs> I was expecting a code. So. Oh got It's okay. Okay, yeah, it's a silly code now. Very Allow authenticator authenticator to autofill. Yes. Um then you said autofill for is it Google authenticator? Which Google none Google with your permission, autofill services can remember. Information such as username, password, or fill them in automatically when I ask for them. Yes. Yes, yes. Done. Okay, then do next. Oh, fine. Are you sure you've done it correctly? Yeah, I did it correctly. Okay. Let me one time passcode give me a one time passcode if i need yeah. once i click on it do back i don't know why this should this should go but do next next that's my notes okay oh uh, um, maybe someone uh well so has anybody gone past this level this stage it is able to Go past the stage. Well, it's showing me like password signing enabled. You can use this device to sign in. So you you now. are you are okay. You you okay, yeah, I understand that. You will need to sign out then when you want to sign in again, you you will prompt that to FA. So oh, okay. But I I need us to to get the log reality workspace done today. So one assignment before we install workspace so let's try to create another user okay let's call that user sub reader then your name for example sub reader james sub 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 reader uh tosin sub sub reader said let's assign it uh a permission you know just read only permission okay so we're adding another user yeah so so you don't have to do it now don't do it now okay so reader assign it like um read only uh permission and uh, and use the asset uh the im identity access management to control the user's access so you click on access control then underneath you can control what access the user can get 
whatever assets you think that you want the user to have, you can control it. So I'll, I'll explain it again. We're creating an, another user, we call it subreader, James, subreader, Tosin, subreader, Esther, whatever you want to call it. So in that, that user, give the user access, you know, uh, read-only access, and under the access control or identity access management, control what access the user can can have. That's it. Was it was it clearer? Oh yes. Okay. Okay. Good. So, any questions before we move on to the next stage? Uh -huh. For me, please, like for me, I just noticed that my, my cost for my Azure then is, is so high. Is Can I delete it after today, for example, and resign it again or something? Or redo it? If you want to do it like that, like that, but you have to do everything all over again. And by Saturday now, we, we're going to, because we are creating workspace now, workspace is where your logs are going to store. And we still have to get all the, all the signing logs from you know, Linux, Windows, And everything into into that be able to practice and you need this environment to be able to practice it anyway so but it's up to you if you want to delete it and do all, everything all yeah, but i think we're That's given that. like some credits when we um subscribe to the beginning like i don't know if it's for everyone like 200 dollar credits or so i don't know hmm? because mine no. is also yeah mine is also like almost 87 as well so but when i check the invoice uh, that was invoice as at two days ago it's still showing like zero pounds so i don't know if that amount is just there to show what we have used out of the free credit to make so it. because if if they've not invoiced you they probably will not charge you anything but for charge, me, yeah that's what i, I thought I, I, I leave my own on anyway so because it's it's what i use so you know yeah no, that's that's why i'm also <laughs> It's going it's going high every day by day. So I'm just, I'm just scared. Yeah, yeah. mine is like it's seven pounds as well. But you use more than five money now. Uh, yes, I eat and tossing. You guys don't want to spend oh, it. I feel only eighty seven. I I I'm on, how's, um yes, I, I, and I did mine after your own. So mine uh, is like it's seven right now as of today. Or maybe it's the you have not even left SQL SQL um no, you have not even. Oh, you know what? Delete the SQL server, everybody. Delete it. Don't worry. Delete me, it. I, didn't, I didn't create my own in on as a virtual machine. I just created it as a, I don't know backend. My own is. So let me show you the way my. You own. mean you mean uh you created it uh locally, right? Yeah, like SQL server. My own didn't come like. Yeah, as in I saw. Okay, the okay. Time. Let's 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 do it this way, guys. Delete your SQL Server. If you have this like a, so if you have like a, a VMware, maybe we, uh workstation or any of these uh solution, you, you can mm -hmm. install it there locally on your yeah, on your own, on, on your, your machine. So you, if yeah. you have like yeah, workstation, have one VM or yeah, the, yeah, this thing on my own. Yeah. Um, virtual box, box, right? Virtual box, yeah. You can install it on virtual like, box as well. So okay. we get yeah, lots. I was going to ask you, if you yeah, the yeah, you can as as long as they are on the same land, it's fine. Yeah. You okay. can do it that way. Only, only the only the Oracle feature. I mean, only so only the Oracle uh, VM. Yeah, on oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. Only the SQL Server should be installed on your either. Uh, uh, workstation or Oracle Future, whatever okay, thing. Okay, just the SQL, not the VMs. Not the VMs. No, no, no. Yeah. Not so the, not I think the VMs. this is what I not did. So maybe that's why I'm not charged the way I didn't do mine. Like, I... no, see, you, you don't want to spend money. So it's you. I know you're ready. Don't worry. Okay, guys, let's let's move on. Let's move on, please. I think I've, I've explained it. So, guys, if you have like what uh, Esther is going to do. If you have like workstation of or virtual box, which is going to be running on your local machine, you can install your um, SQL Server on it and delete it from your Azure. So does that does that make sense to all of us? Is that clear? Okay, do it as well. Do it as well. I didn't get it. I didn't get how you are going to do that. You said you should. 
so if we have uh, what we call uh, a virtual like uh, virtual machine so you have like a uh, virtual box which is which is open source and free you can install it and you, you can have multiple vm running on it so you can have you can install it on your look on your windows machine okay. then on top of it then install your um your sql server yeah so that means you, your sql server will not be running on your azure it will be on your local machine so yeah guys we need to move now i want us to install workspaces let's go back to our search engine that that, that big search up yeah so i'm tossing can you type log analytic workspace log yeah that's it if you come down yeah that's it and let's let's install it so create let's go to create now yeah you, you can even see it from the bottom you can see in the middle but it's fine mm -hmm. so so you remember the re resource group that we use so yeah. yeah make sure that you use use the same resource group okay. okay keep coming down keep coming down do you, the name hmm, interesting let's call it i don't know if it's going to allow you to call it you can call it whatever you want to call it but let's i want us to have a unique name let's try this one i'm pasting something in the chat now okay lost eyebrow yeah does it allow you to yeah. do that okay so make sure that you put it in the same region that all of our resources are do you remember what, what region did you use the first time uh, uk south europe UK. was it uk south yes. be, be very sure but there's UK. one that uh, okay. i think right. attacker vm that you put on us no VM. yeah attacker vm was a different region and I, I i wanted us to do it that that way later but make sure that every every of your resources are on the same region apart from that so do review and create. So guys, so workspace, this is where all of our logs are going to be stored. So this is where we're going to be installing our Sentinel on Saturday. So this is where we're going to be working from going forward. So do create. So yeah, I'm happy that we get to workspace today. So you, you can read more about workspace, guys. Any questions for me, just ask me. But workspace is just see workspace as a database where tons of logs are going to be stored. Then we're going to be creating our our use cases in the KQL and you know, some interesting stuff from here. Yeah, so we all have our workspace now. That's I'm, I'm happy. Do we all we all have our workspace now, guys? And anyone without a workspace? Apart from a Bailey, I understand, but Ade, Tosin, uh, Esther, Said, what speaks all good, right? Yes, I just yes. Good. good, good. So this is where we're going to be living. No, we're, we're literally going to be living here because <laughs> we're we're going, we're going to do some fun stuff here. So Tosin and uh, Said, please calm down. Leave your PVMs on. <laughs> this person, uh, this person, uh, this person, you, you don't want to spend no, anything. My own is still okay. I, I, I didn't even know my own was. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Esther was saying this, and they charged my credit card. So I don't think it's free. My credit card, they've sent me the, this thing. The invoice, how much? But they now reduce the charge. It was three pounds something when I closed it, three pounds seventy four, but what they now took is one pound something i don't know <laughs> this guy, so you want them to give you for free no i no i'm just saying that it's not that they did not they still had to take it's not that they gave you any extra money actually when when we finish this course if i were you guys i would try and replicate the same thing on maybe virtual box but it, it will be it will require you to do a lot of more work but it's possible so that you can have everything locally but why i love this is the exposure to azure that we are we're also getting mm -hmm. because azure is very important so that exposure people are moving away from on-prem you know esther can test right? everybody goes to cloud now so this is the future so you know for me i'm happy that we are learning it 
So I understand that it comes with a bit of cost, but that's how, unfortunately, that's, that's how to learn. You but know, the virtual, you, sorry, you use the virtual this is it free too. Virtual box. That one, that one is locally. Yeah, it's locally to your machine, but no one you, in, at workplace you you won't see oh, it. Okay. That's the problem. This is what you'll be seeing at work. So people have you know you see Azure, you see Google, you know, I mean you see Google, you, you see Amazon. That's what people use now. Nobody uses anything on prem again. But for for learning purposes. It's okay, but the problem is that you might get to work and everything looks very different. So, but now we are we are we are understanding Azure portal, Azure interfaces, and everything. So when you get to work, it's not strange because it's the same thing, and you can navigate. You can you know. For me, I see it as part of the investment that you need to make, and you know it's going to be useful. You can ask Esther. I'm sure Esther uses Azure probably every day, you know, and this is how the interface looks. Esther, is that, is that not true? Yes. So for me, if you see it that way, you won't, you won't be worried. If you see it like, oh, this is an investment as part of my career progression, you'll be okay with it. But if you see it as if, oh, they're taking money, they're taking money, and you, are, you want to go to um, on prem. When you get to work, everything will look very strange and look very different because nobody does anything on prem again. Anyway, guys, it's 19 minutes past. Um, thank you for to for your time again tonight. I'm really grateful. So James here and so we're meeting on Saturday, Saturday, 9 p.m. Right. By God's thank grace. You very much. I hope we'll not be tired now. So By God's some grace. of us that are going to. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Those don't yeah Saturday is not even here. You are looking for excuses. No, 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 no. You'll be I'm, fine. no. I'm I'm going to drive down there. And, you will be all right. And I'm going don't to worry. be among the <laughs> graduating committee to help them. Nine to nine. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, everyone. And I will speak to you guys on Saturday. Have a good Friday. Cheers, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.